Nothing's off limits with this duo. It's father and daughter, Don and Cher. And join the club if you're a chatter mouth. Hey, y'all. It's Cher and Dawn. And welcome back to the Chatter Mouth Podcast. You know, Cher, on the way here, I was listening to the radio and I thought that was such an interesting topic. Ooh, tell there me. were these two girls on the radio and they had this disagreement. And the disagreement was one one of the girls was visiting the other girl's house, coming okay. for a visit for a weekend. But the other one is vegan and one isn't. Okay. So the um, the girl that's vegan is coming to the girl that's not vegan's house for the weekend. But the girl that's not vegan tells her friend. Bring your own food. You'll cook your own food and do your own thing at the house when you come. But, you know, I was saying, where's the hospitality? You know, when, so, when a friend is coming over to visit and is staying at your place, don't you go shopping and you ask, what would you like that I could have in the house for you to make you comfortable? What snacks do you mm -hmm. eat? What foods do you like? But she said no. Because she's vegan? Because the girl's vegan that's visiting? The girl's vegan that's visiting. Is that why she said no? Is that why she didn't want to do She said that she doesn't want to cook vegan. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know how to cook vegan. Vegan food is more expensive, she said. And she just doesn't want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. But I think you're supposed to be a little bit more... Hospitable? Yes. Well, I think when someone comes to visit, you're supposed to, like, you know, either pay for the meal and like and have them go out to dinner and you kind of like you know buy the meal or have something in the house they can have um yeah i don't know but i say you could always get like beans right and, you always and get beans rice, and rice it's not expensive you know? yeah but uh, the other one her friend thought it was just very hurtful mm -hmm. that she wouldn't you know go out of her way and you know she's going out of her way to come visit her so right. at least the girls should go out of her way the one that's that eats meat for her. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, yeah, I agree. You know, some, I've experienced things like that. Like people feel like, well, you're vegan. I don't know what to cook for vegan. So you just right. take care of yourself. And it's like being vegan doesn't mean like our food isn't that different. Like beans and rice is super easy. Like right. vegetable platter, super easy. Fruits, super easy. Well, you know? even if, she, see, I go one step further. A lot of people do say that. But you could ask, what do you eat? What things do you mm. like? So I know, what, since I'm not vegan, what things do you like so I know what to make for you yeah. or have in the house for you? Right. She maybe doesn't know in, in right. her defense. But you're not much of a cook. So what no. would you say if someone was like, well, I guess actually you do. Whenever I come to visit, like when I was living out of town, you'd always say like, give me a list of things you like and I can pick it up for you. Exactly. Um, so. So that's what I would yeah. do. But it's, it's interesting. Not everyone does that stuff though. No, Not they everybody don't. They is don't like, go out of their way. Yeah. Like when someone comes to visit me, usually I'll pay for like their meals when they, when I have them over or I'll cook dinner or whatever. But. Right. Um, I do that. Not everybody you does. Learned that from me. Yeah, I think so. Because you, know, you just go out of your way because they have visiting And you, you also had taught me this, which not everybody knows when you're dating someone and you're going to visit their family for the very first time, you always would say you have to bring something. Have to bring something. Right. But a lot of people don't know to do that. Well, I think that shows a character. But it doesn't show a character because it's all about like how they were brought up or what they learned. I think you it know? just shows a character. I really, really do. Because you want to be nice, you're coming to visit to the um, the guy's parents or the girl's parents for the first time. You're showing that you care, that you're in interested in in the um, relationship of, of whoever you're dating. So I think you should be bringing mm -hmm. something to the home. Yeah. Even if it's a Not bouquet everybody. of flowers. Yeah, I, I agree. Not everyone knows that. My, one of my girlfriends recently just was telling me how she went to go visit her boyfriend's family for the very first time. And she was like, her, him and like the family like went out for the day and she was home with the mom and the mom was like cleaning and she was like trying to like come and help clean. And the mom like got mad at her. She was like, if I need help, I will tell you I need help. Oh, that's rude. No, but isn't that interesting? Did she's she like, really? Yeah, say she that? said that. And she and the girl was telling me she's like, I was just trying to like do the right thing and like be nice and help. And I'm like, my mom would have loved you. Like you would have yeah. loved someone who's like not just sitting on their butt and like doing nothing, playing on their phone. Like you want to see like they're willing to help and be a part of the family. And she was like, 
the opposite. It's weird. Like, it just depends on how maybe, you're brought maybe up. Maybe the mother had a, was in a bad mood or no, something. No, she said that her the mom is just, like, hard. It's just hard. And she's very independent. And she wants to see that she's independent and strong, too. Oh, that's so interesting. It's just interesting. interesting. It's all about how you, you're, like, brought up. But, you know, I think the way that you're brought up really impacts your future, who you are, who your partner is. And it's interesting because you're only in your home for like 18 years of your life. And then the rest of your life, you're out. But why is it that the first 18 years impact a person so much? It does impact them the most. Like their confidence level, their, you know, how they, how they act, everything. It's so interesting. Yes, it does. And that's why in the first, it goes so fast. That's why I try to like be with Bella every second I can, which is like too much, Raleigh, because like it goes so fast. Like she's in kindergarten now. It's crazy. Right. I think they're most impressionable when they're young and they take everything in. I know. And it develops them the way they are later on. Right. We play these like weird Barbie games, you know, or like sometimes where she's like, I don't know, she likes to play like certain games. I don't understand that she plays these weird Barbie games. Yeah, that she likes to play. And I'm like, is this bad? Like, you know, is it what I, the way I play with her going to impact how she acts later on? Like, in her Barbie game, like one Barbie is bossing the other Barbie around. I'm like, I don't want her to like be bossed around or for her to be the bossy one. So, like, how do I manage this? You know, (laughs) it's very difficult. Yes. that's what she likes to play. Yeah, so I try does. to like teach her in the game, like, don't be bossy. Like, you know, like stand Just up for yourself, like that, you know? <laughs> no, that's not how we play. Right, right, right. It's so funny. It's so funny. But yeah, that is interesting. So anyways, you got me on a new show that I've become oh. obsessed with called Your Honor. If you guys haven't seen it, it starts out, in my opinion, the show started out very slow and it was very sad. When I first started watching it, I was like, I don't know if I can continue, but then I'm know, glad I did. I know. You <laughs> called me up and you said, why are you having me watch Yeah, why did you show? tell me? And you're like, this reminds me of me. Yes. But I was like watching the show. So basically it's about... Well, should I? I don't even know how much I can say. Just but basically, it's about this um, this guy, and he's like a really like great judge. He's yeah, a you know very righteous, very judge. righteous judge, and um, his son gets into trouble. And how far is he willing to go to protect his son from the law when he's like very into like protecting the law and doing yes. all these things? But when it comes to your family, would you? How far? How would you far go? would you go? Basically, yes, yes. And it's interesting. And I could relate to that because as a mom, I, not every mom is the same way. Right. And not every parent. I mean, I even discussed this with daddy. Yeah. How far would you go? I would go all the way. I just would well, to like, help. Well, okay. So you're saying if a child of yours is, I don't know, going to jail, like in this show, his child was supposed to be, you know, going to jail but he knew right. if his son went to jail he'd probably get killed in jail so he's going to not let him get sent to jail and he's going to do everything he can to cover up what his son did right and so are you the type of parent that's going to cover up what your child did to protect them or are you the parent who's going to say you made a mistake you need to pay for it and and there's two you know I don't know what do people well, I, do I guess also you have to see what did he make a mistake on? Like with with the judge's son, it was an accident. Right, and he would have probably... Right. But then yeah. I read a story on the New York Post Ooh, what? where this, um, this son confessed to his father how he killed some women. And um, the father didn't like it and felt that he was going to do it again. Wow. So he did tell the cops Good. and brought him in and he's in jail now. Good. So it, I think it also depends on the situation. Totally. That's so true. You know, I mean, this was an accident of course, you know, for the, in the show and the son had this terrible accident and the, and the uh, person, you know, died from it, but, but it was an accident. If you deliberately go and kill someone, you, you know, can't. for no reason, then, Right. Mm, then I, I don't know if you could just live with yourself or you're afraid that another woman is going to get killed. Oh, well, then you have to do something. That's why the father you did. have to do and something. And I'm sure the son will never forgive the father because here he oh. was confessing. But at the same token, the father didn't want to see another woman 
die. Well, then that, because then that death would be on him. Ugh. Right. I have the children. That's like so disgusting. That's a little That's difficult. so sad. But it's also if you hear someone like your loved one or someone so close to you does something so bad and they go like, like that and goes to jail, can you have a relationship with them anymore? Some people totally disown their child. I don't know if I can ever disown my I child. I don't think I can disown, how could you? but hopefully they they turn around from their experience or learn from it and is, saw, is genuinely sorry. I mean, people make mistakes in this world. We're yeah. all human and, and you You're know, so we do human. make mistakes. You say human. Yeah. How do you say it? Human. It's human. <laughs> You're so human. funny. It's your New York accent. It's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I just hear you say it. I'm like, you're human? What's a human? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. But anyway, you know, we, we make mistakes. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes the mistakes are a little too bad or terrible. But, um, you know, if if you really are genuinely sorry for your mistake, then yeah. you can't disown the person. Right. It's so true. You know. Oh, my goodness. It's scary. You know, growing up with your children out in the world, everything is so scary. That's why we have so much anxiety. I know. Us I moms. have so much anxiety. <laughs> no, I do too now with Belle. No. Oh, my gosh. So much anxiety. Every time you have anxiety, Daddy says, you made her that way. You got her nervous. That it's you all, did? Yes, it's all your fault. <laughs> everything bad is my fault. Everything good is on That's the worst. Him. Well, that gives you more anxiety too. So <laughs> That's not true. fair. That's not true. It's not your fault. <laughs> Other people go through that too. The husband always says, when there's something wrong, you it's because oh, of you. Oh, yeah. Isn't that so rude? It's so, so rude. rude. Whenever there's something that he doesn't like, it's because of me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, that's not true. That's too funny. Speaking of like different TV shows, though, The Golden Bachelor is oh, coming back. I can't and I'm wait to so watch excited. That. The Golden Bachelor, was it The Golden Bachelor? bachelor was last night okay so it's the golden bachelorette yes yes and she gets to date all these she's like older she's in her 60s i yes, think yes, she gets to date all these 60s. guys who are also in their 60s yeah and i think it's so cool i was watching the coming attractions for it and it's interesting because even though they're older they're grand like considered grandparents age you know and they have such like like a like a love for life they don't want to be old they're you know they're still young and like even one of the guys was like I'm not looking for a girl to grow old with I'm looking for a girl to stay young with that's you know? very interesting yes because I think when you get older you realize how life just passes you by and it goes so fast so you want and you know like if you're in your 60s honestly how many good years do you have left mm -hmm. 10 to 15 the most Ugh, don't say that so you want to make the most out of your life then because it's just 10 and 15 years you look back how fast that goes so you want to do as much as you can but i think this golden bachelor and bachelorette is a wonderful thing for older people yeah. to find love again and have that um new phase in their life starting and showing that you could be older and still have some zest in you and yeah. have life in you like it's not that you're old at all don't talk to her because she's in her 60s. You know, it's like yeah. shows that, you You know, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's true. It's like, like you shouldn't just because you're older doesn't mean you have to like act a certain way. Yes. They were saying that in this coming attraction too, that it's like, I'm not like how my grandparents were back in the day. It's like a, it's new, a new world. world. Even the way people look is a new world. You know, you, what do you mean? I think that, you know, uh, I was looking on Instagram and they showed people that, women how they look when they were 60 in 1920s and they yeah. look so much older than the 60s in 2024 no. you know they right. just you're more youthful looking or you keep yourself more youthful yeah. looking Right. It's a different world. It's, ex it's exciting. I can't yes. wait for it to come out. I That'll can't be such a good one. wait. And then did you hear um, Rachel Lindsay? She was the bachelorette. Actually, you guys, she was the bachelorette and Grant, my brother, your yes. son, was on her season of the bachelorette yes he was on their season he was only on night one and yes. then he got off but it was still so fun to get to watch him and hear a little bit of behind the scenes of the bachelor because yes. we always loved that show forever um but anyways she got married to one of the guys that she was on the bachelorette she fell in love with someone they got married they've been married for many years but now they're getting divorced Sad. and during their divorce he filed that now she has to pay him i think it's like thirteen thousand dollars a month for living expenses every month since the divorce. And a lot of people are like up in arms about that because 
you know, why is she having to spend so much money giving him? He's a chiropractor. You know, right, he makes a lot of money, but he's saying he doesn't make much well, money. Well, he had to show that he wasn't making a lot of money right. while they were together. Right. And it all goes by how, how much you make during the relationship, right. not afterwards. But it is yeah. really sad because it's not like they have children, and I can understand that, support, right. help support the child or whatever, but it's just him and I'm and sure he can, now he's yeah. going to make good money. But right. That's not I think he had show. to like give up his career a little bit to go and like follow her career. But you know, he was married to a woman who was on The Bachelorette. Like he could have he got so many Instagram followers from yes. this show. Like there's so many things he could have done since the show if he wanted to make more money. Like he could have leveraged the fact that like his wife is the bachelorette, like right. started a huge chiropractor like company. And, you know, there's so much he could have done, but he chose not to. You he know? chose the easy way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just getting alimony. Yeah. I think it's a lot easier for them to like break up now, though. Luckily, there was no like kids involved. I think right. that makes things so much harder. Right. That's true. Yeah. But you know, it's another world. It's a, it's a new world. It doesn't matter if you're female or you're male. It's whoever makes more money has to pay the other one. Right. You know? Yeah. But, that's but you're also, right. There's no kids involved and he still has to. But you know, I don't still know. has to which. Sorry to pause the podcast, but if you're loving our podcast, then you'll love our book and we have to tell you a little about it. Actually, we wrote this book. And it's about how we got this close and how you can too. It's called A Bond That Lasts Forever. And basically, it goes over our life's ups and downs. It shows pictures throughout our life and has adorable quotes throughout to inspire other mothers and daughters to have their own special relationship. You can pick it up on Amazon.com, at Barnes & Nobles, or wherever you get your books. Now, let's, let's get, get back, back to, to the, the podcast. podcast. Yeah. It's sad because he does have a, a very good profession. So I'm sure mm -hmm. now he'll be making money. I kind of feel bad for him for like dating now though. Like he probably has a reason that he asked for this money. I'm sure there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes yes, that we don't know about and we're like judging based on what we see on TMZ exactly. or whatever. But like, you know, I'm sure he gave up his career to follow her, whatever it may be. But now like who's going to want to date him knowing that he's just like, you know, wants to take their money. I mean, maybe they'll have to sign a prenup first, but right. You know, it's just interesting. I think this is a lesson for all girls and guys that before you get married in today's world, you should have a prenup mm -hmm. because um, you just don't know. You could be so in love with the person, but you don't know what happens down the road. So to protect your assets, you really should have a prenup. And if the other person is upset by that, then I feel the, um, the emotives are right. not true. Right. I agree with that. Because, like, why not just set it all straight? You know? Right. I totally agree. I think it's so interesting. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but it's a new world nowadays. It's There's a so new many world. Different things. Right. I mean, I could see why someone would say, well, you want a prenup. So obviously, you feel like this, this marriage isn't going to work. But no. Mm -hmm. It's just in order to protect your own you assets. You just never know what's going to happen yes, in life. Yes, you nowadays. don't know. There's, yeah, the divorce, divorce rate, rate is so high. Is it still as high? Um, I think it is still very high. It's and I think high, less people are getting married younger. No, but more people are getting married today. Oh, really? Yes, I heard yes. it wasn't. No, you know, more yeah. people are getting married, but if still they get divorced. But more people are actually really? saying, I do. <laughs> Interesting. People yeah. are wanting that like constant in their life. Yes. Which is nice yeah, to have. Yeah, of course. Of know. course. It is nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I've been married now 11 years. How long have you been married now? Oh officially? my God. 40, 41. 41. You had to think about that for I a know. second. <laughs> 41. It's so interesting because they yeah. really, 41 years, that's like your family, family, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, more with him than without him. Right. Isn't that interesting when you're it more is. with someone than you are without the right, person? Right. Right. Yeah. That's really weird. Mm -hmm. But do you feel like you've merged? Jared and I were talking about this. They say when a couple's been together for many, for so long, they either start to like become very similar or they start to look like each other. Kind of like how a dog owner ends up kind of looking like their dog. Have you heard so, of that before? Yes, I and they do. <laughs> they do. Sometimes That's it really does happen. Funny. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, you hope that you grow together. That's what you do hope. But – 
in my case, there are different things that are different. Like, like daddy doesn't like change. That's probably why he still has me around. <laughs> but I like to evolve. Like, I like to eat more healthy. Right. And he still likes to eat his old ways. Right. right. So there are things that change. You just, you know, but yeah. the love is there. The love is there. Exactly. Well, you guys are so cute together because I feel like you're so yourself. You're very much yourself around daddy, which is good. I feel like I see, you know, you say what you want or what you think. And he kind of, he understands the way you are. He I guess it's, he really, he gets you now. Right. Like you guys have a really big understanding of each other, right. which I think is really cool. I love so seeing that. Goes with, that goes with age and time. Mm -hmm. You know, you do end up knowing the other one. They don't even have to say anything. You know what they're thinking. Right. Well, that's how we are too. Right. <laughs> it's like what are we thinking right now yeah. Wait, whatever <laughs> say a number one two three three, three. Well, did you actually say three yeah. that's so weird let's do it again one, one two, two three, three five oh. Oh. <laughs> that's so funny one, wait two, try to really put it in my right. head all right oh i don't know okay, one do two it. three one. one did you actually say one that's so weird. <laughs> See? We got it. We got it. We got to the ESP. Everyone is out <laughs> That's really funny. Well, I could talk. Like, Daddy says, I talk. I, like, I half talk or I'll say something or I jump. And, he, and he'll listen to the conversation and, and he'll say, she doesn't know what you're talking about. And Explain. I'll say, yes, I do. You know, on the phone the other day, he did that. I was like, no, no, no I, know where she, I know what she's saying. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's uh, we get used to each other. Hopefully, you guys get used to us, too, and yeah. can keep up with our conversations. We do jump around a we bit. Uh, around. But I think it makes it more fun. I, I, I get do. bored of one conversation. I, I got to jump to the next. I totally understand. <laughs> it yes. So now that, you know, Belle's in school full time, are you going to start exercising like me? I, I would gotta, like to. I really mm -hmm. would like to. I think I feel I think it's healthy. Well, I realize that I feel better after I exercise, but I don't, I, I just don't like my mindset. It's hard for me to get into it, but I would like to. And I think I wouldn't need, like, I feel like a lot of times I've been dragging recently. Like I'm tired and just need coffee. But if I just did some exercise, I think that'd be better to like wake up in the morning. Yeah. But then you get exhausted from the exercise right. later but on. But it gives you a better feeling, I think. Yes, it totally, totally yeah. does. You just have to really set your mind. But I know you want to try this. So I'm going to do this with you, this yeah. boot camp. Yeah, I would I like to. I looked at it on the internet. It looks <laughs> so hard. It's like CrossFit boot camp. You know what it is? I get really really bored from a lot of workout classes. Like, yes, I don't do. know how you can just sit there and spin for an hour. Like I give you all I credit did. for I those who do it. You can just do that and spin. And I'm like, I am so bored. I need something that's going to keep me like entertained yes, and like yes. quick, quick. Otherwise it's, it's too hard. It doesn't matter what exercise you're doing. As long as you're moving and you're doing, I yeah. believe. Yeah. And I think it's great for the body. It's totally. great for the mind. Yeah. So it's great all around. Yeah. And talking about the exercise, Grant just told me hmm. that he's reading this book on health and that the first meal, the first food you put in your mouth should be 30 grams of protein. You should it's have hard. 30 grams of protein in yeah. the morning. So I'm really trying to do that now. Yeah. What I'm, do you do? And what do you eat? So 30 uh, grams of protein is like a, a lot, lot of protein. Of protein. He's just, he's too into the protein. He, I think he has protein. Like, you know how like <laughs> a lot of the men like to have like all that protein. I you don't need to do that. But I think the protein keeps you full longer mm. and not hungry. Mm, you think protein does? Yeah, I do. I do. I think if you have. Yeah. So um, I bought this cereal that Grant recommended. Oh, yeah. And that has 20 grams of protein. So the cereal has 20 grams of protein. So I'm looking for the extra 10 grams of protein. So if you use, let's say, hemp seeds, they have um, 10 grams of protein if you put like three tablespoons. But if I don't want to do three tablespoons of hemp seeds, I'll put two tablespoons of hemp seeds and a tablespoon of chia seeds. And there I got my 30 grams oh of protein. Oh my goodness. And but you're interesting. You eat your breakfast like not whenever. You eat breakfast during like lunchtime. I brunch. Feel like. You have brunch. brunch. Yes. And do you ever have lunch? No. So I you eat just two do meals brunch? a day. I don't know how good that is. Sometimes I'll have a protein shake if I'm hungry 
in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But I do. But do you find yourself snacking a lot? I try not to. But if I do snack, I try to snack healthy. I try to have like walnuts, pumpkin seeds. That's really good. You know, I always believe in choose your foods wisely. Like don't pick on the the sugary Mm -hmm. foods. But you don't have like vegetables. I don't see you having like health. Like do you have like vegetables, like green beans in your house or carrots? I don't see you do that. I do that for dinner. You do for dinner? For dinner, have a salad or... I do try to do that. Okay, so then at night, though, at night, I cannot stop eating. Like, I went through two boxes of these vegan Cheez Its in the past two days. I don't know. What is vegan Cheez Its? Oh, they're so good. Oh, those crackers? Yes, they're so. I never eat Cheez Its anymore. And I found these vegan ones and I was like, oh my God, they're so good. And then I have to have cookies at night. I love my chocolate chip cookies every night. Oh, but then just have one. Right, I do try to have one unless but I unless I make no, these certain ones and no, I eat all you, of them. You can't do that. <laughs> That's the worst thing to do. But I'm reading so much about how bad sugar is. It's oh, bad yeah. for your brain. It, it um, you know, you can get dementia from cancer, it, and yeah. cancer from it, and all these well, things mm-hmm. that now that I'm looking at like foods like the cookies and stuff, I all I do is I think about that. That's so interesting. I'm Good kind for of you. staying away from wow. it. I'm not totally staying away from it, but I'm trying to That's good. Trying One of my more. friends did a full sugar cleanse for a month. That's really hard. It's hard, but it's so good. Like it's good for you and your yeah, body for your body. It's really you know? hard. Yeah. Though. Yeah. But um yeah, there's so many different. I know. I need to. I want to start getting better about. The Grant foods. Grant's really very healthy. My son, he's very. He tries to eat really healthy. Not when he goes out, or you know, but when he's home, he really tries to eat healthy. You know, that's good. Yeah, you too. I do too. I really do yeah. try. You, all I you wanna, do yeah. is try. That's right. You don't have to be crazy about it, but just you, you're so reason. easy with like your food because you just make for yourself right you don't cook yeah. for daddy anymore and actually you know sometimes i want to cook for daddy but he tells me he got so used to doing his own thing he so doesn't nice. want me to touch it you trained food. him well <laughs> he, he doesn't want me to touch it he just wow. wants to do the way he wants to do it so i also maybe because he's retired and he has the time yeah he likes to do his own thing so you just have to cook for yourself I which just, makes it easy we're well, very cute mm-hmm. in the kitchen before dinner we both come down we go okay we're hungry we're gonna have dinner now and we both maneuver our own food in the kitchen go into the refrigerator so and i get my food out to make and prepare yeah. and he gets his food to prepare yeah. and then we sit down together to eat that's cute you know when i'm making i'm so much more likely to make like a full balanced healthy meal if i'm cooking for somebody else but when yeah. i cook for myself it's so easy just to like have a bagel or just make something yeah. like you know what i mean not not like yeah. so healthy you need to eat a little more healthier than you do like the morning bagels I'm are upset. a killer i know i don't know what it is i love a bagel and coffee in the morning it's just together oh just a bagel and vegan cream cheese and coffee or a bagel and butter and everything bagel especially just so good in the morning. i don't know what it is i just love it i wake what? up craving it <laughs> and then i try to eat something else but nothing goes well with coffee like a bagel does i'm telling you and i love having my coffee that's just like my thing and i know it's so not healthy i don't know what to do i just love a bagel in the morning i'm really into avocados now avocado so do you do avocado avocado toast yes i do that's good and then i put in hemp seeds on top of it (laughs) chia chia seeds seeds oh my goodness you're so funny yeah and Mm -hmm. um it's you know, they say that if you have an avocado a day, it, it helps re- it, it, it makes you helps you lose weight because really? it's good fat. And I don't know, but you know, <laughs> Daddy always says, "Who says?" Right. They say. That's what they Jared say. says. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I you know I don't know. I think there's something to it. Yeah. Good for you that you're yeah, so trying. good. And you still have the protein powder drink. That's what you've been drinking. I've been drinking the vegan that. milk. Anyways. This is so fun. I love getting to just sit and chat and talk about like all of our things we do. Yes, it's so yes. fun. I love this time that I have with you. Like, I know. I just feel like I'm talk chatting. We can keep it going. <laughs> it's the best. Yes. Anyways, thank you all so much for tuning into this episode. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.